At ESMO 2022, we presented the results of Fresco 2 study. This is a global phase three randomized study of frequentinib in patients with refractory metastatic colorectal cancer. Frequentinib is an oral, highly selective and highly potent inhibitor of VEGF receptors one, two, and three. The study included patients with metastatic colorectal cancer that had progressed through standard cytotoxic chemotherapies, targeted therapies as appropriate, including an anti-VEGF antibody, and also patients should have received TAS-102 and or regorafenib. A total of 691 eligible patients were enro enrolled, and these patients were randomized two to one to frequentinib versus placebo, dosed at five milligrams POQ daily, three weeks on, one week off. The primary endpoint of the study was overall survival. A key secondary endpoint was progression-free survival. Overall, the study was hugely positive and there was an improvement in overall survival with a hazard ratio of 0.66. That is a 34% reduction in the risk of death. The difference in the overall survival between the placebo and the frequentinib arms was 2.6 months, with a very highly uh, significant p-value of less than 0 0.001. As I mentioned, a key secondary endpoint is progression-free survival, and that was also improved with a hazard ratio of 0.321, with the difference between the two arms being 1.9 months. Overall, the drug was very well tolerated, with the most common grade three or higher adverse effects being hypertension in about 14% and asthenia in about 9%. Both these side effects were easily manageable. Of note, other key uh, adverse effects that we typically see with other anti-VEGF tyrosine kinase inhibitors, such as hand foot syndrome, uh, proteinuria, and LFT abnormalities were all 6% or less that were grade three or higher. In summary, this uh, is a positive study and Frequentinib uh, represents a potentially a new treatment option for patients with metastatic colorectal cancer that has been refractory to all available therapies. We're hoping uh, that this will be approved globally to be made accessible to these patients who require this immediately.